Buenos días, everyone. On our last video series, we focused on what is industrial organizational psychology? When and where did it all start? And what was the difference between the I, industrial, and the O, organization? In today's video series, I bring you someone very special. Her name is Jadvir Gill. She is a PhD doctoral student at Seattle Pacific University, and she's studying under some bright minds within our field, like Dr. Rob McKenna, Dr. Joey Collins, Dr. Kendall, and I bring her here because she has a very international perspective on I.O. She also focuses on human rights, and I believe it's gonna be very helpful for us to understand what other professionals within the field are focusing on and what are some avenues within this field. So without further ado, that very guilt. Hey y'all, my name is Chad Beer, and I'm a second year I.O. PhD student. So the reason why I got into psychology is because I enjoy studying human behavior and cognition. IO psychology then takes one step further and applies the research to better performance in organizations and improves the well-being of employees. So I'm sort of taking an untraditional route in that my second interest falls in human rights. So I'm fascinated with using IO psychology to answer questions like, what does decent work look like? How can organizations contribute to gender equality and good health and well-being? How can organizations detach themselves from contributing to climate change? And more importantly, can we generalize these results to countries outside the U.S. so that we have a larger impact? So with these questions, um, the cool thing about the field is that it's very flexible and interdisciplinary. You can attach it to anything that you may be curious about and develop new and important results. Javier and I are both members of SIO, the Society for Industrial Organizational Psychology in the United States. So I think that's a great point for us to continue our conversations on what is this organization, why are they so important in our field, and what are they doing around the world and in the United States. So stay tuned for that. As always, it has been a pleasure for me and for her as well. Thank you very much for your time. And if you have any questions, don't forget to drop it in the comments. We can be reading there and responding to your commentaries over there. So stay tuned. Take care. Vamos.